presiding over tonight's match is Kelvin Jeffs. And it is habit, I guess, to cheer for the underdog. There's one man in the box who won't be doing that tonight, but you really do feel fond of the Tigers on a night such as this one. Brasher gets us underway. The Tigers running from right to left, sporting a, a new look strip as well. And Carroll comes back into a wall of Tigers defenders. Walker and Sirinan were there first. Now is Cement Gillespie. I thought we'd seen the last of, of David at the end of last year's grand final, but he's come back for one more time. Kosev short of the 30. Manly nothing fancy in this first set of six and already just shy of the 40 metre line. Sadara Saskari out of dummy half. Carroll, his second hitter. And again the Balmain defence. Driving in, it was Walker and Stimson. Morrison was there. Field, his first touch on the last. Put the shoulder after kicking. It's well over the head of Langaloa. He was kicking from outside the 40. Only just. This will be a Tigers feed. But under the new rules, that's about as close as you go. Yeah, great kick there. Or was great. he? Yeah, just by a metre. You called it right, Andrew. But some good early defence there from the Balmain Tigers. And mainly they're a professional outfit. They won't get caught up in the emotion of all this coming back to Leichhardt over. They'll just be as steady as you as you go for the first 10, 15. That far off the 200 club, played 185 first grade matches for the Tigers. Blocker, a little bit of emotion for you tonight as well. Yeah, sensational night for the Tigers coming back to Leichhardt Oval after two years away at Parramatta Stadium. I've seen a lot of people I haven't seen for a few years too, so it should be a good game. But as, as Fatty was saying, the Balmain Tigers just have to settle down. They don't have to be overawed by the occasion. Donaghy just picked up his first touch of the ball, a former Manly player. He's got three seasons with the Sea Eagles, playing in the centres for the Tigers. Agree with him as Tuvi and Kosef came in quickly. This is Darren centre through the first line. Now the Tigers with a chance on the right, Donaghy. The Manly defence has certainly earned that reputation as the best in the competition, not just in last year, but the previous season as well, Brasher. Kicking from inside the 40. Moore is the man back. He has Hancock in support. And Hanley and Kennedy, the tacklers, and they've in fact conceded the penalty. And it is Hanley, the man, who infringed there. Well, I suppose Kelvin Jeffs trying to assert some authority early in the match. The man is entitled to put on the ground. They're not happy with it. the touch finder and we understand he is the first choice goal kicker as Carroll his third touch with Terry Hill stepping away from Mayans Kosev for Innes the man who scored the first try beyond the 30 meter line it's worth noting the head-to-head -head between these two clubs as well very close 48 wins to the Tigers 50 to Manly as Hancock penetrating the Tigers defense Brasher in the line Langaloa back to fullback Carroll hit hard by Sim Stimson 15 meters out last tackle play with field kicking Menzies chasing he was impeded by Sirinan back comes Gary Edwards and no report on the late charge on Steve Menzies Well, there's Field with a kick. Now, Menzies, dead said he was taken out. Well, he was brushed by Siren and he went down. And now the Tigers they get a penalty. This is for hands on in the play of the ball, and oh, there was nothing in that. Well, that does end up a big play for the Balmain Tigers out from their own line he goes zero big lift the reception from the fans here and Shane Walker gets it into Manly territory good line set to the left here for the Tigers that's the way they come with Gillette then for Morrison he had Kennedy on his outside and Morrison a guest on the footy show during the week and gee he has built up in the offseason put on 10 kilos 
Tipping the scales round about the 100 kilo markers. White for O'Neill. Donaghy couldn't handle, and Menzies is with it for Manly. With Balmain showing they're not afraid to spread the ball early. Now field from dummy half. On the halfway line, and uh, Michael Gillette did not clear the ruck. No, Sedaris is playing for a penalty there. He never actually attempted to pick the ball up. He just fell over. But Jess was awake to him, and now there's another loose ball. The Tigers come up with it. It was Gillespie looking to slip the pass, and he's ruled the knock on against Balmain. Well, he, he must, must have got a call from the touch judge there. Seem to be blind, and now the ball goes backwards from Gillespie. It's very hard to see a knock on there. Scrimmage it was, field for Tuvi. Tuvi inside, this time it's Innes. Just inside Balmain's half. But a good start to this match, Kosef. Then Gartner, over the 40 metre line. Stimson had to apply a, a bear hug from behind. Here's Sedaris. I reckon he's as fit as he's been in his time in the competition. That's according to his close friend Terry Hill. Hill lost that one. Double knock on the first against Manly. Well, Terry had a big look there, but it's been quite smart play from Manly early in the match there. They know that the Balmain forwards are pumped up for a big night and they're playing one pass off the ruck just to avoid that congested area. They've made a couple of half breaks on that occasion there, Terry, a little bit of lack of concentration. So bringing Edwards in off the left wing. Been a good acquisition over the past couple of seasons. Brasher doing that ankle a test. Menzies was the tackler. Last year, these sides played their lone clash at Brookvale. 18-0 to Manly was the result. It's a centre. One off the ruck is O'Neill. Able to pop the pass, putting some pressure on his teammates. Sirenin for Gillette. Decoy runner was Walker, a run around with Hanley. This is Brasher again. Inside came Kennedy. This is Edwards. Menzies and Field were there. Last tackle for the Tigers. Michael Gillette. This time kicking from the Manly 40. Hancock, a good test for Craig Hancock. The elect to replace Matthew Ridge in the number one jumper at Manly. It was far too deep a kick to be any problems for Manly and well taken by Hancock. He has got the biggest boots in the world to fill. And Matthew Ridge, he really changed Manly's fortunes last year. They were going okay, but when he turned up back into the fullback role, he turned them into a super team, end up winning the premiership. Gartner wrapped up on the 20. And Hancock, he was back in time for the grand final, but he played very little football last year because of injury. So it's really a comeback of sorts for him as well. Here's Tuvi. Probing just on the fringe, Sirenin was there with Hanley, the two veterans. Field, kicking from dummy half, again outside his 40 metre line. This one could be too deep, it's too deep from field. So back to the 20. And the Tigers certainly matching the input of Manly early, but you do keep thinking that it's Manly who are threatening to make the break. So Morrison it is with a restart. Gillespie was first man in. Switch from Setter for Sirenin. Menzies again first man in there. Already seven tackles for Stephen Menzies. Highest tally on ground at the moment. Setter to the left side. Walker. Good charge from Shane Walker. Made 15 metres, and Craig Field called offside. Well, that's a great run from Shane Walker. These Balmain forwards are really taking it to Manly. The likes of Walker and Centre. Ciro's been heavily involved early. And Morrison, that's a great run.
No surprise either to see Craig Field with a bit of lip, if you like, to the referee after that decision. He really does wear the heart on the sleeve. He'll change colours, but I don't think he'll change his style all that much this year, having transferred from South to Manly. Well, that's almost a scrum. Siren and overrunning the play before the free kick was taken. Outside the 20, though, a chance for the Tigers with O'Neill. Sedaris and Gartner with the tacklers. Terrific atmosphere. First night back at Leichhardt. Hanley for Morrison. Morrison stepping. And again, Gartner was there around the legs. From dummy half goes Hanley. Five metres out from the Manly line. Now Darren Sender for dummy half. Did he force the ball? Held up, says Kelvin Jeffs at first attempt. Oh, well, they're so close there for the Tigers. This will come out with a scrum feed for the Tigers. Centre put his head down, went for the charge. I think it's Sedaris that gets his hand between the ball and the grass. Did he ground it? Oh, well, no, I, well, I saw a hand under the ball, Andrew, so it looked like a good decision from the referee. Sideline, Steve Roach. Yeah, just watching Timmy Brasher in the back play here. We need his involvement as much as he can get into the game, but he's hobbling around at the moment. So the Tigers stay on the attack. Here he is, Brasher. As I said at the top, there was no way he was going to miss the first match back at Leica. Whether he'll last the match is another thing. Kennedy, trapped by Tuvi. And centre, Gillette. Skipping a man and finding Surinam. Was there a manly hand there? The Tigers, no restarting to the tackle count. Hanley. Five metres out, Sedaris the tackler. Centre, blindside play, centre again himself. This time did he force it? Jeffs is going to award the tie. The in-goal judge is saying, yes, let's wait and see. Darren Centre. It is a try to the Tigers. A dream start to the black and gold. And Darren Centre at second attempt gets it. Well, in the first you don't succeed, you know what to do again. You try. And he gets a try, Darren Centre. The first time he was denied, but it's nearly exactly the same play. He's gone through three Manly defenders and slam dunker. And that's the great try to the Tigers. They're playing with lots of enthusiasm. And really, some pretty ordinary manly defence here. Did he have downward motion on the football or did he lose control? That's the question you've got to ask. And that's what the referee was asking the in-goal judge. Well, it's very debatable. Well, the in-goal judge couldn't be any closer, could No, he? that's right. But I just got my doubt as to whether he grounded it, but it's been given. And the Tigers are playing well. And now Brasher. Career success run just over the 60% mark. 11 in from touch and 20 metres out. Brasher with a first attempt is wide. But the Tigers can ask for little more. They lead Manly 4-0. We'll take a break from Leica. to the action. Manley down by four points to nil. Deep kick off from field and well covered up by Walker. Storming start to the match from Shane Walker who I don't think he would count as a specialist front rower. This is Langalower. Also happy to report the crowd has built even more since kickoff as Balmain get another penalty. And it is so heartening to see the fans lined up at the top of the hill Six and seven deep, because here's the penalty against the Manly side. Well, Kelvin Jeffs did let the players know early, didn't he? He wasn't going to stand for any shenanigans in the play of the ball, and unless we just hang around a little bit too long. And this crowd, it is fantastic. We saw a beauty last night at Parramatta, and this is the biggest crowd I've seen at Leichhardt probably for 10 years again. It's fantastic. An underused word, that shenanigans. As Sirenen gets back to the 40, almost. Menzies' tackle count is really mounting for this Sea Eagles outfit. And he's first man in on numerous occasions. Walker again for the Tigers. Six hit-ups for Shane Walker. Now centre. Oh, 
isn't he giving some value to this Tigers side running out of dummy half? Now on the Manly 30 metre line, spread to the right. It's Gillette now Hanley. He had Brasher running, Hanley electing to retain possession. Again, Menzies was first man in with Tuvi. A play the ball that almost caught the Tigers out. Gillette on the last tackle. There's a chance here for the Tigers. Hopawati. Big take and then over the sideline, but it could have been far worse for the Manly side. Yeah, great take by Hopawati, but a big play for the Balmain side because they'll get the, the scrum feed back. A nice chip there from Gillette. Hopawati takes it well, but a strong defence there from Donaghy. And a bit disappointing on this side of the field, and Darren Centre leaving the field with a crook shoulder. He was a pretty good player at Canterbury a couple of years ago, and he's now with the Tigers, and uh, he's really made a home for himself here. Well, he's won awards the last couple of seasons with the Tigers. Player of the year, in fact, in his first year with them in 95, and regarded as their most consistent in 96. He really does throw a spanner into the works. Hudson Smith is the player on in 15. Steve Roach on the sideline on Darren Centre. Yeah, a crook shoulder, right shoulder. They think it might be dislocated, but a good replacement for the Tiger. Hudson Smith has gone on. Greg Donaghy from the scrum got through the first line. That was Hancock. Hudson Smith has gone to dummy half. The first pass to Morrison. I think he could apportion blame a bit to both players there. But mainly back in possession. Sedaris here for Gartner. There's that right foot step. What a year it was for Daniel Gartner. 96. And the Manly side five metres inside their own half. Culminating, of course, in a grand final. And the swarming Tigers defence still effective. O'Neill all over Jeff Toovey. Field on the last. This time he was inside the 40 metre line, but hasn't come off the side of the boot. In fact, it's perfect from Craig Field. This will be a manly scrum feed. Don't worry about side of the boot. You can kick him like that every time. Oh, he's a genius. And this is the first time we've seen uh, this year, this new rule that's been brought in. Just watching Kelvin Jeffs. He's got to go and ask the touch judge from where it was kicked and where did it land. And So there it is, the manly feet. He's got it right. Yep. Big call for the touchy. He has to be watching where they're kicking from as well and then get the point of crossing the sideline. But Manly on the attack, the pass from field floated past Tuvi. Hancock has to clean up. Lose momentum on the play. And in the dummy half. Cost it. That's good work from the lock forward. Scrum on the other side of the field. Round there for first reception. Sadaris working the short side with Carroll. Ten metres out from the line. Star on for Walker. Sadaris trying to do what Darren Center did just a few minutes ago. Inside the Tigers 20. Field. Tuvi. Then for Menzies. Smith was first man up there. Last tackle, Manley. Basically where they started. Craigfield, wide ball to Innes. He had to stop to catch the pass. Brasher is there. And Brasher down the right wing is shredding a tight rope with the sideline. For one, he came a second man in his penalise. Yeah, the penalty had to be given. The second tackle made there. Brilliant play there from Tim Brasher. Manly nine times out of ten, they get set of six inside the opposing quarter. They'd score with the Belmain Tigers. They are pumped. Brasher gets it out, and he's brought down there. And that was Hokkawati makes the mistake. <laughs> Brasher has blown a kiss to Hokkawati after the penalty. Old buddies from the World Cup tour. Didn't know they were that close, though. As the Tigers are eight metres inside their own half. Smith working here for Stimson. Good player, Mark Stimson. His brother was linked up with the South Sydney Rabbitohs for this season. Here's Hanley. Run around with Gillette. Brasher was calling for it. Menzies the tackler. Right side. Morrison. Able to steal six or seven metres. Good run. Smith. Field came quickly out of the line. Smith kicking for himself on the last. 
The Tigers with Hudson Smith. Tackled on the 10 metre line, a turnover. But that certainly got them all by surprise. And the Tigers fans are loving this. I know one big bloke would be loving it as well, the big fellow on the sideline, Stimson, is having a great game. That was Hudson Smith. I never see you do that blocker <laughs> as a front rower, chip and regather. No, there'll be none of that. Uh, you <laughs> enjoy it. off at half time. But now Manly the counter from Hancock. Referee Jess was caught in an awkward position and Menzies. Inside the Tigers' half. Donaghy was the tackler. Well, the Tigers players a little slow to get back to me. As Manly get a roll on with Field. Through the centre. Then with Tierney. He looks like Kojak out there. Here's Gartner. Gartner over the 20. Now Denny Moore. The tackle from Edwards. Manley, five tackles up. For Terry Hill. Field, they're short on the left. Field goes for the kick. It's not a good one from Field. Knocked back by Menzies, touched by a Balmain player, and Ciro does nothing more than fall on the football. Well, was Paul Ciro an offside? Well, this will be interesting. First of all, I thought Craig Field should have passed. They had about a four-man overlap. Balmain rucking it out from their own quarter now, doing the hard work once again. Had a huge overlap. Some Balmain defence very tight there, not moving up. Now, it comes off... I think it's Menzies, goes backwards, off a Balmain player. Ciro, well, he was offside. Michael Gillette in possession, and seeing what we can do in defence at the moment. They've really got the Tigers locked just outside their 20. There's the run by Starr and the driving tackle of Carroll and Tuvi. And now Hopawati with a chance. Hopawati, 15 metres out from the Tigers' line. Oh, gee, there's an atmosphere for this match. Tuvi inside the 10 metre line. We get to really see Craig Field run the football. Sadaris, a switch back to the left. Kosse, Innes, then slipping the pass for Hopper One. He was flat footed there, there was very little to go. Flick ball inside for Carroll, read by the Tigers' defence. Tuvi. This ball for Field. The Tigers coming up quick on the outside. Gartner is forced to come back in field. They've reached the last again. Craig Field, this time running the football, knocked down by Morrison. He wants to run 80 metres and score, but it will be a knock on against the Tigers and the pressure mounts. And Craig Field and Steve Menzies have a little conversation out there as to the Craig telling Steve where he wanted him to run. He'll take some time to ease into this team, Craig Field. He's a class player. I think he wanted Menzies to run close into the gap then. No doubt Manly are missing Cliff Lyons, Andrew. He's a, you know, he's a great attacking player. In this situation, he probably would have had Manly in for one or two tries by now. And the news on Lyons, it is a back injury. We'll take a break, though, with the Tigers leading Manly by four points to nil. Them back Manly with a scrum feed here Manly applying some pressure on the black and golds as Tuvi inside there good ball for Hill the Seagulls Tuvi here goes Cossett Smith was first man up for the Tigers finished off by Walker Tuvi again the Tigers will they crack as Gartner almost found his way between Donaghy and Langaloa Tierney, still five metres out, and the Tigers coming in twos and threes. Now the line is to the right, and Field has Menzies on his outside. Here it is now with Field. Menzies runs the decoy, Field has collared. Ball and all stuff from the Tigers, and again it's the last tackle, and Hancock has knocked on. It'll be a changeover. Steve Roach, what have you made of the combination of Tuvi and Field? Well, I'm, as you know, I'm a great fan of Manly's attacking ability, but uh, Field and Tuvi are more running players. The likes of Terry Hill and Innes haven't seen much ball yet. 
It's inspirational stuff from the Tigers. They lead 4-0. We're past the 25-minute mark. Here is Hudson Smith. He's let no one down since coming on. Now with Michael Gillette. He's had no problems with a kicking game tonight. He has had in the past. The heart went into your mouth the last couple of seasons when he's been booting the ball, but that was perfect. And the chase was spot on from Bubba Kennedy. Here is Hill. He's on 20 metre line. As he's working here for Carroll. Here's Manley. I was just thinking for the last hit up there for Mark Carroll, Fatty, but he's played the entire match so far, and that is certainly not what was happening in 96. That's uh, probably why he's got his hands on his hips, having a little breather too, just out the back there. But uh, well, it's been all pretty fired up match so far, and the forwards, have, you know, they've taken plenty and they're giving plenty as well. Here, of course, the extra man Cunningham in that pack. Well, what a huge hole to fill Alan Cunningham. He was just there for 100 years at the Manly side. Last year, working around a, an eight man pack with Tierney coming in off the bench. Well, tonight there's only Tierney there. And he's thrown into the action already. Here's Carroll again. Carroll's stats seven hit ups, eight tackles. Kossep. 10 metres out from the Tigers' line. They know this domain well as Field. This time inside for Gartner. A shoulder from Brasher. But he's ruled the ball was reaped away. And it wasn't a one-on-one -on -one tackle. So the tap from Sidaris. First forward then tried to reverse his way over the line. Field. Tuvi. Stepping. He beat Hanley on the first attempt. Hanley came again. Now Field again. A dummy. Craig Field with a chance. Here's the tie for Manley. It comes the way of Terry Hill. I think there may have even been a Tigers handed it there on the pass from Field. But it's back to four all. And this time the Field pass finds the mark. And this is what Manley brought Craig Field. He's a great little player. Coming across field as we freeze play there, you can see if he gets his hands through out wide, they've got an overlap, and then Craig just sets up the pass beautifully, lobs one over the top, there's no defence out wide, and good stuff, Terry Hill over in the corner. But they knew that Cliff Lyons wasn't going to be around forever, they needed someone young, up and coming, and Craig fits that bill so well, and that's a great skill to get through all that defence and set up the try perfectly. Terry Hill. And now spent many years running into Craig Field in the South Juniors as well, some years back. Only two games out of the Manly Sides 25 last year for Terry Hill. And this is the other pressure on Craig Field coming into this side, but there'll certainly be people focused on his goal kicking abilities. 57% is nothing to write home about. He's not a powerful kicker of the football. He's certainly not your long-range kicker. And this is four metres in from touch. I think he knows he's playing at Balmain's home ground. This for a lead for Manly Field. Oh, well, he sprayed that one well wide. For all the score... Here at Leichhardt, Saturday Night Football. the score it's been an enthusiastic first half of football and still nine and a half remaining as Carroll comes back his goal is to get it over that 20 meter line he's succeeded that time 
Santini. And it's been a big effort from Mark Carroll, that not often in the modern game that front rowers stay on for 30 minutes. But he's done very well. Plenty of good quality stuff amongst his work. As he's here for Kosef. Star crept up there with a tackle and then a knock on from Sedaris in support. So Balmain will get a scrum feed. And Nick Kosef not happy with himself. He knows he made a mistake there. That pass didn't have to be thrown. They're in their own 40 metre zone. It was a speculator. There was no support coming really. Jim Sedaris is standing flat footed. And Mealy now got to withhold some Balmain attack. And they've really stacked this blind side, the Tigers. That's the way they come. Gillette throwing over the head of referee Jeffs as Kennedy stumbled. We might just get an update on Darren Centre. Blocker, what's the story? Yes, it was a pop shoulder, but they have been able to put it back in. He'll be back after half time as a story at the moment. Hudson Smith is letting no one down. Here he is on the 40. Starting into dummy half. Now Adam Starr, a former rooster. The ball has come loose. Manly with Hopawati. Langaloa was the tackler. James Langaloa. Tini, there's Starr again. He's making no attempt to go low. He's going ball and all every time. The 14 for the Tigers. Carroll passing there for Gartner. And Pierce would be particularly pleased with the Tigers' defensive effort. Gartner. Gartner could have slipped the pass that time. There were big numbers. That's right, but there was no support coming on the other side of the ruck, and that's Manly's been Manly's big go the last couple of years. Field kicking. It was into Gillette. Did he play at the football? He's ruled a knock on against Manly. Kelvin Jeffs. among the new rules this year if there is an accidental touch of the ball from the defending side there's no infringement against them in the case of a ball ricocheting over the sideline it would remain the defending team's feed as the Tigers with Stimson big tackle crunching effort from Sedaris now he's going to get him for lifting here well he took his time Kelvin just watched this tackle and he took four or five seconds to assess it, and now he's come up with an infringement in the tackle. And Jeff Tuvi arguing quite strongly about it. Here it comes now. It's Stimson, he lifts and drives. I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. Where Sadaris could have pulled out of the tackle, he was just on the attack, basically, with the tackle. Anyway, the Tigers now have possession inside the Manly 40. In the lower, in from the right wing. Much percentage running into Carroll and Menzies. Stimson. 25 out from the Manly line. Six minutes shy of half time as Brasher hitting the line at top pace. Oh, Timmy Brasher. What a try. see. 8-4 to the Tigers. Well, he really is a class player, isn't he, Tim Brasher? It's not a bad move from Wayne Pearce, the coach. It's a simple one. The manly defence sort of moving up both sides, but Nick Cossett, the man, didn't mark off on Brasher. And the back gap was there, and Timmy's still got plenty of pace. He's getting on, probably late 20s now, but he could still put it with the best of them out here tonight. And Nick Cossett there sort of caught flat-footed. He let Brasher get on the outside of him, Jeff Tuvey stayed out on his man, and the pace of Brasher gets the try for the Balmain side. And it all comes after that penalty that was given for the alleged spear tackle. Well, Tim Brasher, high fives, they came from everywhere. And Brasher is the highest try scorer of any current ARL player. He's taken his tally to 79. 166 matches. What a player. And goal kicker as well. You can see what he has. This one off to the right as well. So 
And this is a problem, Andrew, for especially this Balmain side. Uh, they haven't had a goal kicker now for a couple of seasons. Timmy will admit he's only a part-timer. And here's the try once again. Grasher, it's a simple case of hitting the, the ball at pace and using your own skill and ability to break the line. Too many players these days want to set up someone with a genius pass and not too many want to take the line on. Timmy still does and gets rewarded. Repeating, it was an ankle injury that had Tim Brasher in doubt for this match. For the restart. Boy, the Manly side know they're in a game, but this is what it's like when you're the, when you're the title holders. They all want a shot at you. Here's Hanley. I'd say running like a 20-year-old, but belying his 36, 37 years of age. Back out there for the Tigers. There's Gillette. Brasher. Menzies, the tackler again. Manly has popped a pass. It did look forward to begin with. In any case, it's a manly ball. Gee, they needed a kick away then, three and a half from half time. They really did need a big set of six. They're now back under pressure. Sadaris. He brushes away Jim Sadara. Second phase play now for Tuvi. 15 out from the Tigers line. They have options left and right. It's to the right with Tierney. The support player there if he was able to get an arm free, but they're setting perhaps for the next. Kosev, Carroll, quick hands for Gartner. Gartner has lost it. It was reefed out in a two-man tackle. That is the motion from referee Kelvin Jeffs. Could be running a fine line here. And Kelvin just calling out Terry Hill. Delory Hanley. Hanley just wasting time there. Hanging on to the football. It's only a couple of minutes to go before half time. The Tigers love to retain their four point lead hanging in the, the Oranges break. Reefed out. Apparently there by the Balmain players, and now the quick tap taken. Field for Tuvi. Menzies was wrapping around. He finds Hancock. Menzies from dummy half goes Stephen Menzies. Big shoulder over the top from Adam Starr. Stopped him from offloading. Sadaris, Tuvi. Now inside was Kosev, but the Balmain defence was almost just waiting in a line, expecting the inside pass. Sadaris, wider this time for field. The alarm bells are ringing. Danny Moore, big tackle from Edwards. Field, Tierney. Oh, this is inspirational defence from the Tigers on their own goal line. Sadaris goes the fancy play on the last, and he's ruled the Tigers have forced it in goal for a line dropout. I've seen Jim Sedaris do this quite a few occasions uh, during his football career. He's got good uh, soccer skills, so to speak. Tries to get that one through, aiming to press down on the ball for a try, but uh, Hanley was there on the spot, so a drop out now. And now they get one last shot for a try before half time. Looking at the crystal ball, will this be the, the most crucial minute of the match? The Tigers can hold the Manly side out. They'll certainly go with their heads held high to half time. Here is Danny Moore. They will get one full set of six. Good tackle, wasn't it, of Edwards on Moore just on that previous set of six. One on one. Here's Sedaris. Fending away. Certainly been live, lively tonight, Jim Sedaris. Now Innes. Works the blind side for ten. Mangaloa came in with a shoulder to drive. Tuvi, through his hands, field, no knock on. Now Gartner. Morrison was the tackler. Outside the Tigers 20. Here is Tuvi, darting off from dummy half. Shades of the Origin Series last year. Hanley is back on his pat alone and covers up for the Tigers. Is he hurt or is it gamesmanship from Ellery Hanley? He certainly looks in plenty of pain. He had a lot of hamstring troubles last year.
Not a bad kick by two. He seems to be taking them on virtually his own tonight. The lack of support there for him. Now that league does get stretched out. Well, Hanley was back on his feet. The big recovery. And that's half time. Well, the Tigers fans have come out in their thousands tonight to welcome them back to Leichhardt and the players are delivering. A standing ovation for the Tigers. What a way to start Saturday night football. The Tigers 8 lead the defending Premiers 4. We'll take a break and come back with the second half. So the second 40 minutes is underway. The Seagulls from right to left. The kickoff finds O'Neill, who finds Morrison. Ooh, Carroll crept up high with the left arm. It was only a glancing blow. Shake of the head from Morrison. O'Neill is the man in possession. Stimson followed up with a, a weaving run. Almost lost the ball getting to his feet. Here is Sirinan. 205 first grade games is the official tally. There's Gillette. Kicking from the 40 metre line. Hopawati has to cover it up. Donaghy with a big chase. And plenty of teammates there as well. Morrison and Langaloa. Now Innes. Get the halftime report from Stephen Roach. Yeah, well, Balmain's Wayne Pierce was very pleased with the defence. He said, don't ball watch, be alert on the last tackle, because Manly will run the football on the last tackle. Keep sticking it to them, because we're really upsetting them at the moment. And if you really want people to respect us for the rest of the season, we've got to have a good showing in the second half. For Manly, Bobby Fulton, pretty happy with his side. He knew that the, there would be a lot of enthusiasm from the Balmain side early in the first half. He wants them to step up the tempo. They're a little bit flat in attack. They do look dangerous after they run from dummy half and then go wide to Gardner. So he wants them to do a lot more of that. And Blocker, just a comment too on the game of Mark Carroll as there's time off here for Glenn Morrison, who was injured. How did you assess Mark Carroll's first half playing out the full 40? Oh, well, you know, look, these days people don't do that much of it now, but uh, it is a tremendous yeah, effort. He's yeah, such yeah, a big man, and uh, yeah, he always yeah, puts his hand up to do the hard work when they're coming off their own line. So, tremendous effort from Mark Carroll. And the main thing is he's out here in the second half. This could be terrible luck for the Tigers with Glenn Morrison. Assisted on the field. He is one of their gun players. And uh, number 26, Adam Nabel, has come on to replace him. He popped a pretty heavy knock, but then he starts running. And we don't know what happened in the end, but he's off, and Adam Nabel is on. And Nabel is slotted straight into hooker. Hudson Smith back to lock. And there you have it, Nabel. He is also a former Manly player. Hudson Smith in possession. The Tigers on the Manly 30. Leading by four points, Gillette. Back to the centre of the ruck goes Michael Gillette. Inside play worked. Not a whole lot doing there for Kennedy. We haven't seen much of William Kennedy tonight. Now Stimson. Now back towards Tuvi. Sirinan off the Stimson offload. Good defence from Sidaris and Carroll. Last tackle for the Tigers. Gillette, he's got all his men. His troops on the right side. Hopawati flies high. And it is Hancock who comes down with the football. There's some good communication out there from the outside Manly backs. And Hopawati and Hancock handle that pretty well. There's plenty of Tigers pressure being applied. Restart and then Sirenan just a shrug and toss his side a penalty. The two want to, be, they want to become involved when he has the ball in his hands. A little to it. But the Gartner stumble led to the manly penalty. But at least the referee has been consistent in that area, and that's all we ever ask. Carroll 
It's Manly inside Tigers territory and pushed back to halfway. Walker is the chief tackler. Martini. Good offload. Sidaris. Hancock. Now the ball within us. Well, the two Tigers wingers are two players we probably haven't given a big rap to, but Langalara and Edwards defensively have been very good. Here's Tuvi. Almost stepping through the tackle of Stimson. Sidaris, field on the fly. He has Gartner inside. He picks up Innes. Trapped on the 20. Field this time for Carroll. Then able to offload back for Craig Field. Now a pass for Menzies. Here's a chance with Menzies. The ball has been knocked down by a Tiger's hand. It's play on for Manley. He'll award the tie to Terry Hill. That's his second. And my first impression is he's got it right. I have to agree. I saw a Belmain hand in there somewhere. We'll have a look at it. But Manley back in the game. The ball goes wide. Field's been very, very busy. Watch him around Mark Carroll. Picks up the ball here. Now, Field goes wide. As we freeze it there, you can see this overlap. All the space out here. Menzies goes through the gap. And then the inside ball as we play continues. And away we go. Plenty of space there. Now, Menzies throws the ball back inside. Looking for Hill. Did it come off Kennedy's arm? The referee said yes, and Terry's momentum carried him over. We might get a better view here. Let's put this down to Craig Field. That's good work. Enthusiastic work from him and a good ball to put Menzies into space. The inside pass comes, and it's still hard to see, from, even from that angle, whether a Balmain hand intervened. Well, Fatty, I've got... Well, I've got no doubt it's come off, Kennedy. There it is there. That shows it up, and I think that's... At least put it clear for the fans here. We we're putting plenty of booze on the first couple of replays off the big screen. With the mere fact that the ball travelled the way it did, it had to come off, come off a Balmain player. So eight all is the score, and this is a key kick. And they have changed their kicker, Innes. First one of the night from 22 metres out. The left foot is unsuccessful. Well, what a finish! What a game! Eight all, the Tigers and the Sea Eagles. Back with the action. The Tigers conceding that try within six minutes of the halftime break. All locked up at eight all. And the Seagulls trying a, a change of play from the restart. Carroll off loading for Denny Moore. Tierney. Gee, some good offloads from Neil Tierney tonight. Sadaris, a good offload as well in turn for Hancock. And how quickly do they find their way to the 40? Kosef, and then on for Gartner. Manly starting to get some passes together, touched in flight with Menzies. I think it may well have been the hand of Kennedy again. Manly 35 metres out from the line. And working the blind side with Kosef. This is real trouble times for the Tigers. It's a big roll on, but he's penalised now. The player in possession. Well, he's penalised Nick Kosef for not playing the ball properly. There was a Balmain hand involved. And maybe the penalty could have gone either way. He was pulled down, or appeared to be pulled down, and the referee has gone the other way and said, the Balmain penalty, he didn't roll his foot on the football. Fair enough. Put it up with a full somersault from Kosef. Repeating the 26 is Adam Nabel. In the dummy half roll, here is O'Neill. A terrific forward battle. And the Tigers now, every time Brasher touches the ball, the crowd just lifts another notch. Slow clearing the ruck there. There was Brasher trying to extricate himself there from Kosef, who is the man of the moment. Stimson went for five metres on the left. And Gillette, Hanley, 35 metres out. A run around, inside ball for Smith, hitting the line at pace. Hanley really wasn't in a position to take the catch. And Hanley back with it. Look at the sideline, Steve Roach, an update on both Centre and Glenn Morrison. You know, Darren Centre just about to come back onto the for the Tigers. They do need a bit of pace out of dummy half. 
And Glenn Morrison, a right ankle injury, it's a sprain. He won't be back. They're all short of halfway, some more troubles for the Tigers. Hudson Smith is down in back play and add a penalty to the Manly side to that list of problems. That's the impression is Smith has gone here. There he is, Hudson Smith. And at 15 minutes into the match, Mark Carroll gets his first break. He's played very, very well. Sirenan having a chat to the referee. Smith about to come off and centre. Heading back on for him. The game's really warming up now, Hendrick. Well, it's bustling Billy Weepu, who has come on for Mark Carroll as well. He's a big lad. And what a string to Billy Weepu's bow is he's a goal kicker. And I've seen him in lower grades land goals from 40 and 50 metres out. It could be an option required before this match is out. Here's Menzies. The front row is Sirenen and Walker. Were there to make the tackle. Tuvi. Coming back in field. Sirenen had to come over the top. Sadaris to the left side with Kosef. Daniel Gartner has limped off the field for Manley. The Sea Eagles are only 10 metres out from the line. Sadaris inside ball for Hopawati. Center is there with three teammates for the Tigers. Walker, Brasher had to come up. Slow play the ball for Sadaris. Weepu ran the decoy. Field has half a chance and stumbled on the 10 meter line. Last tackle. The Seagulls shifting to the right. Tuvi angles the kick back for Menzies and bounces off the crossbar. Field, Hopawati, then the pass to the outside to Andrew Hunter who has only been on for a matter of seconds. Uh, oh, shades of State of Origin 1984 off the crossbar here or the goal post. Wally Lewis and Greg Dowling, there it is. Where's Greg Dowling when you need him? But Phil picks it up and Andrew Hunter, his first great career is 14 seconds old and he couldn't pick it up. Bad luck. The Tigers, Balmain back in possession. That's the closest call they've had that hasn't resulted in a try. With a 25 metres out from their own line. He's worried about Gartner limping off the field. He does carry plenty of strapping on the right knee. It's one of his trademarks. Here is Sirenen. With an able pass from Dummy Half. He was able to stand in the Kossev tackle. Gillette will kick from inside the 40. He doesn't get a good bounce. It bounces infield. Hancock. Here is the Balmain army up to meet him though. They ambush him just over the 10 metre line. There were seven chases in a straight line. Hunter gets his second touch. Young bloke who played for the Junior Kangaroos last year. And interesting in Rugby League Week this year, he's been rated among the top 10 young players to watch this year. And now 15 inside their own half, Sadaris. Good match from Jim Sedaris tonight. There's another 10 metres. Last tackle for Manley. Fielders on the right side of the ruck. Kicking from halfway. Angling towards Langaloa. No mistakes on his own 20. Menzies and Innes the tacklers. This is Donaghy. Donaghy against his former club stepping. He beat two on the front line and almost got around the outside of Hancock. Nabel, away here for O'Neill. A crossfield, Gillette. She was threatening on the inside. Now Kennedy gets it to the 30 metre line. A long way from full time, but field goal is always an option. Sirenen at eight all. They're inside the 20. It is the last tackle for Balmain. Gillette taking up to the line, kicking back for Brasher. I was looking for the touch touch to see if he was onside. Manley have cleaned up and Balmain get the penalty. Brasher's been taken out of play. He's still down. I think he's OK. He's played it well. And what do they do here? Quick tap or do they have a shot at goal? But Gillette puts the kick in, the reverse kick. And it looked like Terry Hill, who actually ran in front of Brasher to take him out. It's a fair enough penalty. 
Of course, you are allowed to jostle in that manner, shoulder to shoulder. In any chase for the foot, football, Sirenen has given the indication they will go for goal, and Terry Hill is, is fuming just a little. But, gee, what price of them getting a goal? Well, there's been some great kickers here at Balmain in days gone by. Keith Barnes, Ross Conlon, used to pot them from 70 metres out. Ross, there's none of them here tonight. Old toe poker played some football with Steve Roach. Wayne Miranda kicked a few goals in his time. Steve Roach on the sideline. Yeah, I just think that was a little bit unfortunate. Everyone raving on about Timmy Brasher being taken out. Balmain's chase wasn't good enough. He was the only one chasing the football. They messed it up in the in goal area. Had there been a chaser for Balmain, they would have scored the try. So the job ahead of Brasher is 12 in from touch. He's gone back 18 metres out from the line. So he hasn't given himself a, a great deal of angle to work with. Brasher, will we have the first kick of the night? Brasher is spot on over the black and gold dot. The Tigers are back in front. It's 10-8. He really is a hero. Timmy Brasher. What a try it was in the first half. So important from an attacking sense. You think of the line breaks in this match. Has there been anyone in the Tigers lineup outside of Brasher that has broken the manly defensive line? Greg Donaghy had a 15 metre scurry just a short time ago. Here is James Langdalower. A young bloke with only a handful of first grade games behind him. In fact, only two in first grade last year. I just noticed that uh, John Hopawati. Of course, has been an Australian winger and a winger for Manly. Is now playing in the second row at the moment for Manly. As Adam Nabel makes a good bust and offloads, the Tigers going well. I think this would be the concern for Bob Fulton. Has been the ground Balmain have made right up the centre. Here they are again. Brasher through traffic. He's got forwards turning left and right, and it mirrors to find him. Manly. Signalling well in advance that he wanted Donaghy on his inside. And Tuvi was there to make the tackle. Here is Gillette. Tuvi's tackle count is 15 for the match. A kick, big bounce. Hancock from his own in goal. Now let's watch this chase. They're there again, the Tigers. It's the first man every time who's making the tackle. Yes, he hasn't done much, Langaloa. Oh, he got another one. Two in a row. He's on fire. Field. Darting away. Relieving run. Offside was Nabel. So this Tigers crowd, I reckon we've wound the clock back to a KB Cup final in 1980. They are making one rack. They're back as the Balmain Tigers and they're back to Leichhardt. And I know the season's only three matches old. This would be the upset of the season. And that's even allowing for the fact that the Gold Coast knocked over Western Suburbs earlier today. Sadaris working with Tierney. Right on halfway. Cliff Lyons watching on from the sidelines down to his 10th nail of the night. Tuvi, they went high on Tuvi. He just kept on going. Gartner back on, that's a good sign. Manly 30 metres out from the Tigers' line. But well into the tackle count. Field. Inside ball, Hancock. Quick hands for Menzies. Menzies has almost lost the headgear in the tackle. I don't think you need any other indication that the tackle was a little high. Oh, the referee's been a few players creeping yeah, high in defence tonight. The referee's picked this one up. From Darren Centre, Craig Hancock. The play was on with Menzies up the ruck, and it's a slap around the face by Darren Centre. What's more important, it's right in front of the right in front of the post, Fatty. 25 out. Well, if you had Matthew Ridge on your side, you just you just go bang, two points. It'll be 10 all, and uh, Craig Field is going to have a go. The tackle certainly fitted into the careless category. Don't 
doesn't get any easier or any lighter. The pressure load on field with a kick for everyone he misses. Here it is again, the tackle on Menzies. From on ground, Jeff saying that that was the second one. He's had a good game tonight, Kelvin Jeffs, though, in the main. Two points. The Tigers lead Manly. And Field is just off centre with this kick. Craig Field. He hasn't struck that one all that well either. In fact, he's pushed it five or six metres to the right. Well, are we looking at what is going to be, going to be the Sea Eagles' curse for 97? Sure, they can score tries, but in tight games, these goals and that one really should have been a sitter. Halfway. We've reached the scoreline of last night at Parramatta Stadium. 10-8, Parramatta over the Bears. Here's Sedaris. Inside, here goes Denny Moore. Well read by Brasher. He didn't commit himself to the man and was waiting once Gartner had the football. O'Neill was back as well. Tierney, not one of his best offloads, putting pressure on Sedaris. The Balmain players were making the plea for a drop ball. Carroll, inside the 20. Sedaris, back to the right, Tuvi. Menzies is there. He doesn't use Menzies and Hancock. He was changing direction at the time he received the football and he coughed it up. Yes, Tuvi drifting across field. A couple of players coming back on angles. It's almost like Craig wasn't expecting that one or expecting Tuvi to actually throw it to him. Three quarters of the match gone. Tigers up by two. Galoa. Oh, how about shaping the kick, James? Ryan Pierce almost threw the walkie-talkie over his shoulder. Adam Starr. Certainly the tallest there in the Balmain pack, and that's even alongside a player like Paul Siren. Abel away for Gillette. Gillette, cutout ball, well handled by Kennedy. We haven't seen too many sweeping backline movements really from the Tigers. Here is Sirinan, straight through the middle. 25 metres out from the Manly line. Last play for the Tigers. Gillette, this time his chases are onside. Brasher is there. He doesn't get within Cooey of the ball. Kennedy does. The Tigers still in possession. There was no Manly hand. No, and it's very, a changeover. Very sloppy play there from Manly. They get the ball on the end, but when that football went up, no one called for it. They stood around like pot plants, just hanging there. No one went for it. And in the end, there's some strong defence which uh, held the Balmain Tigers out. On their own 10 metre line, Garten. The offensive effort of the Tigers. Still, they've made 30 more tackles than Manly tonight. That's five full sets of six. That's a big stat. Tuvi, there it is, total tackles. 171 to the Tigers. Wholehearted performance from their entire pack. Field, the last. Coming downfield. This one, Langola attacking the football when he didn't need to, then kicking. Well, it's play on, is it? Touch judge doesn't come in. Here's a chance for Manley from broken field. Hancock back to halfway. Well, he's had a brain surge or something's happened to him there, Langaloa. You don't do that in the first tackle. And he's paid the price. He got hammered. Down to 12 men, the Tigers. Cross F. I'm sure on the spur of the moment, he just probably forgot his bearings. There it is, Langaloa putting the kick. But in that situation, he was entitled to let the ball dribble over the sideline. It would have been a Tigers feed. Sedaris, they're 20 metres out from the Tigers' line. Kosef along for field. Gartner! Oh, big tackle from Stimson. Stop Gartner scoring. Field on the last tackle. Kicking, it's been charged down by a Balmain hand. Well, was he offside? He's ruled six to go for Manly. Gartner is in possession. 
That's why he wasn't offside, because Manly had the ball. Tierney. The Tigers were offside. Jess plays advantage. Now, who will call the shots here? Sedaris from Dummy Half has got in goal. There's a close look. I think it's a Manly try. It is. Jim Sedaris has scored for the Sea Eagles in the identical spot to Darren Centre in the first half. He's had a great game, Jim Sedaris. Simple case of pick it up, put the head down and try and get over, and he did that. He does it so well. He runs low to the ground in those situations. He's a stocky type of chap, and uh, he's just too powerful in that situation. And you still come back to the mistake made by Langaloa. He, he really st strived to get that football before it went into the touch, and then uh, he just kicked it. Well, I'm pretty sure the young bloke has just forgotten the rule, basically, the new rule. He was attacking the football as if it was about to go touch inside his own 20. Here's the kick. Now watch Langaloa. Yeah, look at the urgency. He thinks uh, that if it goes into touch, then it's going to be a manly feed. And he's under a bit of pressure. The defence is there, and he just thinks, well, I better kick it. And uh, you know, five, six tackles later... Manly score the try. So Craig Innes now having a shot. He's probably only an ace away from getting a penalty too for the late tackle, Langelaar, in the end. Pretty sure the referee and touch judge came up with the right decision, though. Here's Innes for a four-point lead for Manly. Three tries tonight. No goals. And Innes, his second attempt, again on his good side for a left footer. But he's missed one from here already. He has a stab at it. And Innes is successful. So maybe they've found their goal kicker, at least for the moment. 14-10. We'll take a break. Welcome back. 16 minutes remaining in this match. It's been one heck of a contest so far. It probably hasn't been perfect football, but certainly for the drama and the intensity and certainly the passion that's been supplied by the fans here. Here's an intercept for centre. Hold the phone, everyone. 10 metres out from the Manly line. O'Neill. He tries to throw a loose ball. Donaghy gets it. Still 10 metres out from the line. Nabel, he misses out Star, finds Gillette. This is the Tigers' big chance. They shuffle across field, an inside ball. Hudson Smith is back out there now. The Tigers right on the boil. Gillette. And his defence is regrouped. Gartner was that tackler. Star will try and crash over. Held up by the Manly players. Held up in goal wouldn't have been a bad result for the Tigers. Gillette. Then for Freer, the former Eel is thrown for Senna. Senna, Donaghy can't handle. And Menzies is with the ball. And 18,000 fans, I think the crowd is, have just sat back down. As Hopawati gets them out of trouble. Penalty to the Manly side. What an anti climax Oh, and didn't they need that? They're leading by four, 14-10. They're not home yet. There's plenty of life in the Tiger. There's the loose pass, the loose ball. And uh, a couple of tackles later, the penalty. We've got the old Tiger, Steve Roach, on the sideline. How are you handling this, Blocker? <laughs> Pretty exciting at the moment. This has been a fierce forward battle, as you mentioned a little bit earlier. But Daniel Gartner really has stand himself as a world-class player. He's made at least four or five breaks in this game. Very good player. Carroll. Good hit up from the free kick. Carroll stats now 17 hit ups for the match. He leads the way for Manly tonight. Had a lot of game time. Sedaris. Donnie. Went around the waist. Here for Kosef. But the Manly performance is looking so much slicker now. I think the Tigers will do very well to hold them out. 
Slow play the ball as Donicky cleared himself of the ruck. Tuvi looking to penetrate through the centre. Blasher. Up in the front line and Tuvi's head rocked back. Menzies, that touched Sedaris. Well, I think the referee called hell. Tuvi came in for some treatment. Some heavy stuff there from Brasher and Starr. The ball flew loose. I think he's called just simultaneous the offload yeah. and the call of hell. That's for sure. It's not as if he tried to unload it, it just popped clear. And a Balmain feed. Well, I'm not sure as if Tufi was trying to offload. There was a, a Balmain forearm in there. It seemed to propel the football in any case. It is history now as the Tigers from that scrum feed are working it from their own 20 metre zone. This is Nabel. His trial form apparently was very good for the Tigers and he's earned a a start at least in the squad of 17. There's Walker. Able to get them within five metres of halfway. That was centre, in fact, is now Gillette. Nothing fancy about the Balmain forwards, but they just have not stopped. As it comes for Gillette on the last, he's outside the 40, tries the option of the chip over the top and field. That's a big play from the Manly halfback. Craig Field. Daniel Gartner taken off. Yeah, great play from Craig Field. And for those kicks to be successful, you've got to put them a little bit deeper. And uh, Gillette paid the penalty there. He's had a great game tonight, Jim Sedaris. You know, he's been in everything. Scored the last try. His defence has been fantastic. And he's made many, many good metres up the middle of the ruck. And Terry Hill now getting in on the act. All the forwards out there starting to get a bit tired. Manly. 40 metres out from the Tigers' line. Sedaris to the left side of the ruck. Tierney. Neil Tierney. Geez, had a good game. He's offloading. has been the highlight. Menzies, great pick up by Field. Then put down by Gartner. The Tigers come up with it. Well, they remain in the game. They're down by four. And we're approaching the final ten. As Brasher was held by Gartner. Gartner leads the tackle count for Manly with 22. Watson Smith. It's time for Stimson. Stimson, raw bone. The typical boy from the bush, Mark Stimson. Now Nabel. These are good metres for the Tigers. A 25 out for the Manly line. Tigers fans calling for a penalty for inside the 10. Gillette. He's stepping. I don't think he knows where he's going. Yes, he does. He's headed for the try line. He's 10 out. He stepped back in field and left himself well away from his supports. Last tackle. Here is the kick from Freer. It ricocheted off a manly leg and then lost, but forced by Hancock. Oh, yeah. The Belmain supporters went up. They thought a try had been scored. Hancock's hurt his ribs. It's a nice kick from Freer. He grounds it there. It comes loose, but it had been grounded. Good decision by Jeffs. Definitely grounded by Hancock. Of course, if he did lose possession, still... From waist to neck, one of the rules is grounding the football. I'll tell you what, we'll be showing you the official crowd figure in just a moment. And it's identical to last night in respect that it's the biggest since 1986 for the home team. Here is Hanley, swathed in bandages, comes Ellery Hanley. He's now two of the checks at the dogs. Gillette for Sirenen. Wrapped up by Cosset. Here's the crowd figure. They've topped 18,000. 18,247. And Adam Starr, the frustration of a drop ball inside the Manly 20. And they've had plenty to cheer about. They've really put it to the Premiers. The ARL Premiers, Manly. They've come here knowing they're going to get a hard game. And Balmain delivered it to them. They've got nine minutes, the Tigers, to send their supporters home happy. A crowd of 18,247. I mentioned 1986, it was for a match against the Dragons. The Tigers. What is the 18,000 going to do if they do win? There's a lost ball, he's ruled it against the Tigers. Oh, looks from all players, waiting to see which way the penalty was going to go. Well, Hanley had his hand in there right from the start. 
but I didn't see one there. I mean, Terry was just trying to get up quickly to play the ball. And it came loose. Let's see there's Carroll. Oh, some punching work from Walker. And Hudson Smith. Carroll felt that one. Comes for Hopper Going in the pack now for Manley. Here's Sidaris. Cross F. As the match has gone on, and particularly in this last quarter of this match, Cross F is getting more and more into first receiver. Sidaris. Of course, Cross F started last year's grand final at 5 8 with Cliff Lyons on the bench. He's certainly no stranger to the role. Tuvi working through the centre. Cross F. This time just catching and running. Last tackle for Manley. Field would call the shots. It was charged down there by Starr, fielded by Gillette. Gets past Hancock. And Hancock came again with a haymaker with Innes. And Galoa. Hanley. He is creamed by Carroll, although Sadaris came reeling out of the tackle. Walker. Walker! Slips the pass and Kennedy can't handle it. Play on! Kennedy is offside. Free leads the chase. Manley come up with a football. Although it's six to go for the Tigers. We'll worry about the rules later. It's ten metres out from the line. This could be Sinbin. Someone will go here. Yes, he's got one of the many players, Danny Moore. What a finish we've got coming up here at Leichhardt. My concern was Kennedy was in front of the kicker and basically had to stay out of the play. But don't worry about that. Manly are down to 12. And the Tigers are down by four points. Oh. Well, they're holding up play with Edwards kicking for line. Certainly soaking up some more seconds. He's kicked it five metres closer to the line. Here comes Siro. Would that be the perfect ending? Siro and scoring the match-winning try. Comes across with Stimson. Oh, Tuvi was bumped away. Now the Tigers freer. He tries to get to the try line. Oh, Tuvi came rolling out of the play. Brasher. Walker. We've got a hand at the little Jeff Tuvi. He's back around the ankles of Shane Walker. He just dusted himself off and back into the action. Hanley. Here's the ball with Gillette. Now Kennedy. He had Edwards on his outside. Play on for Gillette. Two metres short of the line. Hanley at dummy half. It was a slow pass to Smith. Then for Stimson is forward. It's enough to send the coach to the gap. And they had plenty of numbers. Tim Brasher out wide is throwing the arms around. They had plenty of numbers out wide. And that short ball there. Dean to go forward there from Kelvin Jeffs. And it all comes to nothing. But the Manly Club, they didn't win the Premiership last year for no reason. Their defence was the best in the game. Now that's why tonight the Tigers have only scored the two tries. They possibly could have scored three, four or five. Toofy gets oh. bumped off there. Here's a bloke that's had a broken jaw in the past, too. And Free went pretty close. And Jim Sidaris is the injured player. Time off with five to go. There's a man on screen that will figure highly in man of the match calculations. He could well be credited with a match winning try, depending on what happens in this last five. Centre into the action for the Tigers. <coughs> Was that the last chance the Tigers will get? Tuvi. There's no pick up in defence from that scrum, the Tigers. Kosef, there it is again. Gee, you talk about your good players. It has been constant movement and action and close to the ball for Nick Kosef tonight. 
has now gotten. 10 metres inside their own half, Manly. Very few spectators have left. I don't think any have. In fact, anyone living close by has come down to the ground. There's Tenney. Five inside his own half. Hanley is there with Stimson. Last tackle. They've thrown it back inside the 40. So Field gets the kick away, but not a good one. Donaghy. All these Manly players were offside, surely. Well, they had to be offside, and Jess has let them go. Hanley. You wouldn't think he's 38. Playing like an 18 year old. We've got another year to him. He started 36. I made him 37. You've made him 38. Here's Langalower. What the heck? Let's round it up to 40. Center. With Michael Gillette. Away now for Freer. Then for Brasher. A second man play. Toothy. Menzies. Still able to pass for Edwards. Tightness 15 metres out. It's with Adam Starr. Well, this is the grandstand finish. He's lost the football. He's lost it cold. Has he? No. Jess has received the call from his touch judge. Oh, that is a big one. It was a three-man tackle. It's play on. The centre is held up. Well, I don't care if I don't see another match this year. There's Gillette throws to Freer. Hanley. Hanley. Five out from the line. He's thrown a terrible ball. Well, Ellery Hanley. He just held on to the football and held on and held on. Well, he's really come to life the second half, Ellery. The most experienced man out there. And he just holds on a fraction too long. A strong tackle on the end forced the ball loose from Craig Innes. He's played pretty well. And again, we sing the praises of the Manly defence. No panic. Two and a half minutes to go. 14 points to 10. For the defending Premier's Manly. Daniel Gartner has again limped off for Manly. These are valuable seconds being soaked up with a packing of this scrum. Here's Hopawati. And he's there along with Donaghy. And Kosef. That has been his role tonight. He's done the first hit up after every scrum. But he found out from their own line. They'll get another crack, Balmain, but I don't think they'll have any more than one set of six. Sadara spun away from one and then was monstered by Sirenen. Tuvi. Terry Hill, two tries tonight for the Manly Centre. Australian Centre, New South Wales, maybe back in the team this year. That is a long way off. Kosev, away for field. Again, kicking from inside the 40. It's a good kick from field. There's trouble here for the Tigers. Brasher from his own 20 metre zone. And a chase by Hunter. Yeah, great chase there for Manly. They had four or five up there in one line. Balmain now that they're going wide, but there's no one out there. Langaloa, what can he do? Not much. This is their last set of six, and there's bad news for the Tigers. Brasher has not got up since that last tackle. The setter carries forward for 15 metres. Brasher is back on his feet. Hanley, the warhorse, away for Smith, inside Manley's half, the lender lower. A stumble kept him in the field of play. Smith, it's Fang at left, Gillette for Stimson, Sirenen, then wider still for Kennedy. Kennedy has Brasher, now Edwards, kicking for Brasher, Brasher, the ball has come down for Manley. They won't come closer all year. It was little Craig Field back there. Great cover from Field. That was the chance the Belmont side needed with only 20 seconds to go. They nearly snatched it out of the fire. Some great interchange of passing out wide. Kennedy and Edwards, a beautiful kick. And Brasher came so close. Well, the full-time siren has just sounded. The heads have gone down in the Tigers. And Manly know they have been in one heck of a ball game. What a match. What a second half. The defending Premiers have spoiled the party on the scoreboard.
but there won't be too many in this 18,000 that are unhappy with the effort they've seen from the Tigers. If they are, they're very hard to please. 14 points to 10. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports in partnership with the National Rugby League.